white people watch this video and I'll be right back mm. pay attention hi my name is Jay and welcome to my page um, this is a repost because I misspoke in my last one so I wanted to correct that um, but because of the black woman follow train I'm getting a lot more um, black content creators on my for you page and it's still about autism, it's still about mental illness, it's still about the things that I like. It's just a more diverse group of people talking to me about their experiences. So because of that, I also get to witness white nonsense. And one of the things that I witnessed was somebody talking about how it's not black culture, it's southern culture. And I just want to remind you that three generations ago, black women were raising white babies because our parents were too fucking busy fanning themselves and drinking sweet tea on the front porch and talking shit about their church members to be fucking bothered with us. So they would send us to the help to take care of us. So black women were bathing us, black women were feeding us, black women were teaching us how to be good people. And you're sitting here being like, it's not, mm -mm, it's not black culture. Where do you think that kindness came from? Because it wasn't us. Do you know the strength it takes to raise a lion cub and hope it doesn't grow up to fucking eat you? I have to stop it right here because that line right there. Raising a lion cub hoping that it doesn't eat you. A lot of black women had to deal with that. Raising these kids. Teaching them. Hoping that they don't grow up being just as racist as their fucking parents. Mm-mm-mm. What a line. Here's the rest of the video. The reason you like collard greens is because somewhere in your family line, one of the adults didn't give a fuck about their kids and passed it off to another individual to take care of. White people were killing their babies left and right, and they had enough compassion in their hearts to still fucking care for us. And black people never changed their blackness. So we were eating collard greens, oxtail, big feet, all sorts of things. The vernacular and vocal tone that we have comes from them because they were teaching us. And that's who we were around the most. So, before you sit up there on your high fucking horse, remember who helped raise the members of your family. It might not be you, but it was at least two, three, four, five generations back that were being raised by black women. Show some fucking respect. Please and thank you. At the end of the day, black women had to swallow a lot. And we're still swallowing a lot. Because we know that if we don't stop this, in any way, shape, or form, at the end of the day, we will suffer the worst. So we go out there and we fight and we educate and we teach your children, hoping and praying some that this oppression shit will end. Black women get it from all directions and yet we still come out here trying to help. And now we're taking a little bit care of ourselves. We're looking for each other. We're bringing, finding sisterhood. And y'all are mad about it. Y'all owe us. <laughs> and we still haven't asked for the debt. We have not yet collected the debt that you guys owe us. We're just no, we just know what's coming because y'all won't listen to us. So we need to be strong. Because we're going to get hit the hardest with all this bullshit that's happening. But y'all owe black women, especially white women, especially democracy in this country. I think it's time for y'all to start paying off your debts. And one way is to leave us the fuck alone when we're trying to build a sisterhood. Leave us be. You don't think we've done enough? What y'all want? Our blood? <laughs>